Depression is a common illness worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, more than 300 million people are affected and it is one of the leading causes of suicide. Close to 800,000 people die due to suicide every year, which is one person every 40 seconds. According to the Federal Ministry of Health, 30% of Nigerians suffer from mental illness and with a population of about 200 million, Anti-Suicide and Depression Squad in partnership with Yemi Adeyemi Foundation held an event on Sunday to create awareness about mental health in Nigeria. I'm a very big person when it comes to mental health. I take it personal because I've gone through my own struggles with mental health as well. So when Dari came up to me and said, oh, I would like to do something like this, I was like, yeah, I'm totally game for it. And my foundation also helps in inspiring people, giving them the self-esteem they need, talking to them. We deal with a lot with girls who have gone through um, sexual molestation. Studies show that suicide is the second leading cause of death and is more common between people of ages 13 and 29. I actually believe that statistics because it was around that age that you're still going through trying to figure yourself out and that's part of the mental distress, trying to figure out what you're good at, what your purpose in life is. It's around that age that we struggle with that. More recently in this century, Social media has been associated with suicide and depression, and some of the attendees attested to this. Social media has a huge part to play um, surrounding social media because, you know, social media is a platform where sometimes you are sold a lie. And if you can't meet up to that lie and you have no way of, of even being close to that lie, you, there, there, there's no other way but just going downward, you know. People were advised to seek help and not give in to suicide. Hang in there. I am an Assad listener. Contact us. You can go on you can go on our social media page, assads.ei on Instagram, ASA underscore EI on Twitter. Reach out to one of the listeners. We are here for you. That's what we that's why we do what we're doing. Hold on, you are not alone. The convener and suicide and depression squad shared how he began his journey. The whole idea behind the anti suicide and depression squad was, you know, creating a group that was going to help people that are suicidal and depressed. Because, you know, two years ago, I was suicidal and depressed, and then I was able to come out of it. And um, I, I was able to get out of it, out of like spiritual means. But then, you know, I can't just start a group and start talking about how God saved me. So I needed to learn the practical ways to be able to help people and wisdom and, you know, do research. So I came up with a group. And you know, the first day I created the group, over 250 people signed up on the platform. I was like, wow, like, okay. We've been having support group sessions once a month since last year, and it's very, very confidential. And um, on the platforms, we have about seven professional therapists that have conversations on the group to be able to help people out. He also shared how the government can play a pivotal role in tackling suicide and depression. They can support us because I have amazing ideas that will solve this problem. So mathematically, we don't have up to 100 professionals that can help everyone. And in Nigeria, we're 150 million or 160 million. But then imagine if we're training people, we're imagine training 5,000 people every three months, and we're creating a new source of income whereby by having conversations with people, people get paid, even if they're talking. Depression is usually seen as a white people issue. But recently, it has shown its devastating impact in Nigeria, and more awareness is needed on it. Chika Winwo. Reporting for Plus TV Africa. Single to suicide.